This is what rich influencers online are not teaching you. And the reason why they're not telling you this is because since you're following them and giving them your attention, they need to use their money and their lifestyle to keep your attention. And so they have to act like they love their money. But the truth is, is that people, when they start making money and they become wealthy, they're actually no happier than normal because what makes people happy is actually the chase, the reaching for the next rung, the next thing that they can do. And when people become successful, they don't become happy. They just now have to find something else to focus on so that way they can be happy. And so the honest truth is, is at the point that you make enough money that you don't need more money anymore. Um, you need to make sure that you separate your time from that equation as well. See, the two things that stop us from really having what I would say is true self-discovery is the fact that we need money. And so there's a scarcity resource mindset in the back of our brains. You need to disconnect from that. And you need to stop trading your time for the money because there's still a relationship to money then if you have to give your time for it. You're not actually out of the woods per se. And I know this is rich people talk, the same mumbo jumbo that some motivational guys say, but hear me out on this. You don't need to have passive hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, right? This is the start of your disconnect from the matrix. You maybe need passive forty to $60,000 a year in the city, less if you're not in a city. And what that does is now you don't need time or money enough that you can start to go through this phase of self-discovery, what it is that you love, what, what your passions, your curiosities are. Who do you really wanna be friends with? Where do you really wanna live? What do you do with all that free time? And then you find that one of your passions can be monetized because we are in a capitalist society, aren't we? And almost everything can be monetized. At that point, that 40 or 60,000 then becomes 100, 150,000 a year. But the second wave of income is something that you love to do so it doesn't feel like work. You might even be able to make that passive too. And so the rich are not telling you that they are still lost in the woods. They have money, but they still work for it. And maybe they don't work for the money anymore, but they haven't found what they love. And so they're not happy. Money does not make you happy. It's just the first step towards unplugging from the matrix.